Welcome. All right, so in this case, ladies and gentlemen, I have tangent of theta minus cotangent theta equals secant of theta minus cosecant of theta times sine of theta plus cosine of theta. So when we're looking at you know, what side do, can we you know, simplify or to start off on, um, I obviously see that there's a much, lot more going on over here than is going on left here. And what I see, my one operation, is now here I could go ahead and combine those if I wanted to. And I might go back to that later because they have different denominators. But for right now, I see there's, I have this multiplication of two binomials. So I'm going to want to apply FOIL. And let's just go and see you know, what happens. I don't know. We'll, we'll see if anything comes out of it. So I'll multiply sine, secant of theta times sine. And then I'll do cosecant um, times cosine. Then I'll do secant times sine. And then cosecant times cosine. So when we go ahead and simplify this, I have secant of theta times sine of theta, negative cosecant of theta times cosine of theta. Then I have a positive secant of theta. Uh oh, I'm running out of space, aren't I? Let me get a little over here. OK, so now I rewrote it. So that's positive secant of theta times, well, I did that twice. There we go. That's the FOIL method. Secant of theta times cosine of theta. And then my last one is, why am I multiplying these both? Jeez, that's the worst FOIL property ever. All right, there's a little FOIL face, right? So now I have negative cosecant of theta times sine of theta. Now, just because I, made a, I messed up, I'm going to have to make sure I explain myself. Remember, when doing FOIL, we multiply the first, the outer, the inner, and the last terms. Okay, So I don't know what I was doing, but that's how we do it. And that's why I multiplied each one of those. And that's why I knew that I made a mistake. All right. Now, if I'm going to simplify this huge expression, I automatically know that I'm sure I could probably cancel, um, not really cancel terms out, but divide some terms into one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite all of these in terms of sines and cosines. So I'll rewrite this as 1 over cosine of theta times sine of theta minus 1 over sine of theta times cosine of theta plus 1 over uh, cosine of theta times cosine of theta minus 1 over sine of theta times sine of theta. Now, if you look over here, I have sine over cosine, right? If I multiply this cross, 1 over cosine times sine over 1, that's just going to be equal to sine of theta over cosine of theta. If I multiply these across, put that over 1, that's going to be minus cosine of theta over sine of theta. Over here, I multiply the cross. That's going to be cosine of theta over cosine of theta. And here, I'm going to have sine of theta over sine of theta. So now we, we go back and we say, all right, by using my trigonometric identities, how can I simplify this again? Well, sine over cosine is just going to be tangent of theta. Cosine over sine is going to equal cotangent of theta. Cosine over cosine is just going to equal 1 minus 1. Well, 1 minus 1 is equal to 0, so therefore I'm just left with tangent of theta minus cotangent theta, which you guys can see on my left-hand side is exactly what I'm looking for to verify my identity. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you verify your identity step by step. Thanks.